Today is the day where I'm gonna show you my entire Gymshark collection. Spoiler alert, it is a lot. We're gonna start off with my all-time favorite collection from Gymshark, which is the Adept collection. Even though back in the day, the Adept collection and the Camo, they were two different collections. The entire Camo and Adept is the most expensive Gymshark collection that they have. But I also have to say that the material is the thickest and best material out of all the collections. If you want anything that is super squat proof, sweat resistant, it's the Adapt collection. You pay a high price, but at least you do get good quality. What I don't like about these collections is the waistband because it is just way too far. Also, what I don't like is that all the leggings have the same length. Like I am very short. You can see that the scrunch detailing is not at the place where it should be. I really like the sports bras. Like these are the matching Adapt sports bras. They do feel very nice. I think they make your boobs look amazing. It's flattering, okay? I think the sports bra with the leggings is very, very flattering. This is one of my favorite outfits. I have worn this so many times. Worn a lot, washed a lot. And I have to say it holds amazing because I think this is also concerned when you splurge on active wear or on anything pretty much. How long, how many washes is it going to hold? You can still see that the logo is even... I mean, it is a little bit coming off, but it's still here, right? Next, we have a very, very special piece which is the OG camo. Like this is the first camo that they ever had and I actually got this from Vinted because when I started buying Gymshark they didn't have this on their website anymore. Um, the waistband is different. I personally do like both. Maybe this one even a bit more. You still have the Gymshark logo and not Gymshark written out. I mean, it's a minor detail. The sports bra looks the same. It has the same detailing pretty much. Even though this sports bra has the Gymshark here and we also have the Gymshark here on the side, which I think is a very nice and subtle detailing. Next, we have another OG Adept, which is in this purplish color. And this is the first thing I ever bought from Gymshark. I even have the video up on YouTube. Honestly, it is not my favorite color. I think it doesn't suit me very well. I don't know why I got the matching top. I thought it was so cute. Next we have not a camo. This is more like an animal print. I'm not sure what it was called back in the day. I haven't worn this in the longest time to be completely honest and if I ever wore it, I only wore it with the leggings because for some reason I thought with the top it just doesn't really suit me. Honestly, honestly, I do think it looks pretty. Other than it is not camo, it is exactly the same. In the back we have the same detailing. Next we have finally the last camo, not the last adept unfortunately. And it is in this beautiful dark green. I absolutely love wearing this in winter. I have worn this so many times. Usually I wear it with this sports bra, which is, I think it is called the ruched sports bra. And it is also in this dark green. Okay, now we're gonna talk about probably the prettiest leggings Gymshark has ever done. And they don't do them anymore. And I don't know why. It is the, what are they called? Rain, not rainbow. These are the ombre leggings. So you can see that we're starting here off with a light blue and then it fades into a very, very light blue, like almost white. They had a newer collection of the ombre ones, which I ordered. I didn't like the pattern. I didn't like the waistband. They had nothing to do with this OG. And if I am correct, I have to check the website because I haven't been on the Gymshark website in for a very long time. Back in the day, I was stalking the Gymshark website daily. This waistband is the waistband I want for all leggings because it is so tight. It fits perfectly. And also the back detailing, like you don't have a weird scrunch. You just have this line in the middle of your bum. And I just think this is so much more flattering. Honestly, I don't know if they're squat proof, but they are not as thick as the camo ones. Sports bra is the v-neck sports bra. This is actually the only one I have, but I think it is a very pretty. I love this combination. I actually wore this last year so much in fall because 1989 Taylor's version came out and then I have to match my gym outfit to that vibe. Do you understand? <laughs> 
Okay, next outfit. Next we have another ombre legging. I absolutely love it. It is the exact same as the blue one, just in black, and then it fades into gray. It is so extremely flattering. I feel amazing when I wear it, okay? And then I have the ruched sports bra again. Next we have another adept one, but this is not ombre. I think it is actually super pretty, but I never really wear it in the gym. I think it is because I never really wear a lot of neutral colors. I always like to have some sort of color. I don't know. I am wearing the bandeau sports bra, which was so popular back in the day. This is also something that I wish I realized more is that just with any other clothing item, active wear also has its trends. I still love the bandeau sports bra. Okay, I have it pretty much in every color you can ever imagine, but now it is not so popular anymore. Not that I'm someone who likes to follow trends, but I also really do like the twist sports bras that I have now and sports bras that are very open in the back. I just want to say there are now other styles and types and trends that weren't around when I was buying the Bando sports bras. Next we have my one and only adept shorts that I have from Gymshark and this one has the newer waistband. Let me tell you something about this short, okay? I had so many issues with this short because shorts. <laughs> they had to send me, I think, three or four shorts of them and then they were like, okay, we're not gonna send you more shorts. But I was super annoyed because first one ripped second one ripped and then I think even the third one ripped so I was really annoyed because I just wanted to wear them and they got annoyed with me obviously because they cannot send me a hundred shorts you can see that here my my skin rolls together and I really don't like how it presses everything together and even further down it doesn't look flattering it doesn't I don't know so I don't know why I wanted it so bad back in the day please don't ask that question I think it looks weird on me and it looks good on everyone else and I have no idea what it is I wanted to say I think the scrunch is a little bit better but it really is not better it still sits way too high sports bra is again bandeau sports bra in gray next Next we have the Adept Fleck and they already have new colors. They have this very, very gorgeous blue that I unfortunately do not have, but I have it in this gorgeous brown. This is a perfect fall color. I think it is so pretty. It is so flattering. I have to say it fit me a little bit better um, before I lost weight because the waistband on this one is also amazing. We have this line in the middle and then we have the matching sports bra, which I also think is very cute with this kind of like layering. I would say that the material is thicker than the ombre leggings and I really like it. It is very similar to the camo ones. It's very sweat proof, squat proof, everything proof. We finally made it to the very last adept legging. This one is the exact same as the brown one just in this gorgeous gorgeous red color. This is also the perfect fall color. I am wearing a bandeau sports bra. It looks like a matching set and I really like that. The next collection where I I have so many pieces from is the Whitney collection. If you don't know, Whitney Simmons has, I think it is four collections with Gymshark and I absolutely love this collection. And it is just so different from everything else that Gymshark does. The material is not as thick as the Adept ones. It is a little bit, I wouldn't even say see-through, but it is definitely not as sweat proof. So if you do sweat a lot, and I, I personally do sweat a lot, I have sweat lines here, for example, but I don't mind. I don't know, I feel like they're a little bit easier to move in and they feel more like a second skin. I think the waistband is just so, so pretty. Even though I think that the scrunch detailing, just with the other Gymshark leggings, it is for me personally a little bit too much much up here. I think the leggings is from the V3 collection and the sports bra is from the V2 collection, which I'm so sad that they only had this for the V2 because I think this is one of my favorite sports bras of all time. Your boobs absolutely look amazing in them. I mean, look at this. Look at how amazing. I have small boobies, okay, but they do look amazing in the sports bra. So yeah. Next we have this stunning brown color. This one just screams fall for me. I usually wear this in fall so, so, so much. Love the detailing in the back. They're just so amazingly pretty. Next we have this absolutely stunning blue, which I think is one of the prettiest blues I've ever seen in my entire life. This is from the V2 collection. You can see that the detailing here is different because it says Whitney Simmons like in letters and the other one has like this little gold block. I personally love both. I think both are very 
pretty. I love the golden detailing. And also in the back, you can see this one has this mesh detailing here and the others don't have that anymore. Another stunning blue. I absolutely love this color. It is so bright and vibrant. I have the exact same legging in shorts format. I don't know what my thinking process was, probably because I like the color so much that I wanted to have them long and short. But money comes back the Whitney collection doesn't, I guess. <laughs> Next, we have this beautiful green which I also think is the perfect color for fall. I have the exact same in shorts version. You, you can say it's so pretty that you would also buy the shorts of it, right? Next we have the exact same legging in black. I love this legging so much. I'm pretty sure that I never ever wore it to the gym but I have worn this legging out and about so many times. I feel like it is the perfect everyday legging. And because I love the legging so much, of course, we also have it in shorts form. Next we have this stunning sports bra. This is the only sports bra that I have in an extra small. This is such a perfect green. It is not the same green that I showed you before. Like you can see that this green is way more muted. The leggings in this color sold out so quickly. There was no chance of getting it. And then the sports bra in the small also sold out. And I wanted to have that color so bad. The color of this legging, okay? pretty stunning amazing but i haven't worn this a lot mainly because they had this alternative waistband and i don't know why i decided to get it with this waistband i'm not the biggest fan of it and i think this is why i'm not wearing it next we have this super cute pink set i got the matching sports bra to the legging it is more of like this muted pink it's not like a very bright pink but i really really like it it is so cute and it is one of my favorite things to wear when i have a shoulder day okay i think this is the most stunning set out of all of them. I don't even know if the camera is picking it up correctly because the sun is going down and we're like in this golden hour at the moment. But this is like a neon bright red with a pinkish undertone. The shorts are perfect because they're not too long they're not too short. This is my favorite 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 outfit. It is so stunning. Like wow just Wow. Okay, next we have this gorgeous blue shorts. The bra is not a matching sports bra. This is just, again, the bandeau sports bra. These shorts, as you can maybe tell or maybe not from the clip before, they are a little bit longer. They are from the next collection. And even though I love these shorts, I prefer the length of the other shorts. I mean, not that these are available, but I just want to show you in comparison. This is the V2 collection. And then we have this very bluish blue. And you can see how different they are. Next we have another short. And I think this is from the V3 collection. It has this very cool detailing here in the front. I honestly do regret only do regret only getting them in one color, she says, while having a million other things. Whatever. I really love these shorts. They have the same length as the red shorts, and I think this is why I like them so much, and I think they're just so flattering. They are very see-through because the material is super thin, and this is a very light color. Yeah, I still do wear them in summer. I just do not Care. We're moving on into the next collection, which is the Vital Collection. I fortunately don't have a lot of pieces from this collection. It is honestly not my favorite because I don't think it is the most flattering one. I really like the detailing of the Vital Collection. Like I love all of these small points throughout the leggings. I think they look very pretty but I also think that they look better on people on social media. I don't know why then they look on me or maybe I just don't like them on myself. I don't know. Something that I really do not like about this collection as well is the waistband because you can see that this waistband is just way too big for me. This is a small. Then I have a small that fits me. Then I have an extra small that fits me and I have an extra small that's way too small for me. The sizing is just so off. I don't get it. Why do different colors have different sizing? But this is ju not just a Chimper problem. I also realized this with other brands. Maybe it's because I have no idea about making clothes but it's really annoying if you have a size that fits you and you want it in another color and then the sizing is off. The material is rather thin. Thinner 
compared to the Adapt collection. Not so soft like the Whitney collection. Next we have this very orange color of the Vital Seamless. I have to correct myself. I checked all of the sizes. I have all of my Vital Seamless. I have four. Three of them are small and this one is the only an extra small. My issue was, now that I remember it again, they changed the waistband. Like the black one and the green one that I have, I have a small and the waistband is just way too big. And then with the purple one, the waistband with the small fits. And then funny enough, like this extra small is way too tight for me. This waistband is so tight that it almost gives me a stomach ache and I don't like it. I have almost never worn it because it is so tight and I don't really like the feeling of the waistband. It, even though I think the color is a very very pretty. Next we have this gorgeous purple Vital Seamless. I have this super neon green bandeau sports bra that I love to pair with these leggings for the springtime. This is definitely the spring color for me. Next we have this dark green color, also Vital Seamless, with the very neon green sports bra that I was just talking about. You can see that this one has the same issue as the black one. Like this band is so much bigger than the purple one that I just wore and they're both size small. I especially like wearing it in winter. It is a very wintry legging but I have to say I haven't been wearing it that much. We made it to almost the last collection. We are now at the Flex collection which I think was huge back in the day and I saw it online so many times and I was so in love with it. Nowadays honestly I don't really see anyone wearing it and I'm also not the biggest fan or I haven't been wearing it as much. Wearing it now it makes me realize that it actually looks really good. I don't think it is the most flattering legging. I mean, I love the back detailing, don't get me wrong. I love the gym shirt here and then you have this detailing. It's pretty. It's, it's not as bad as I maybe had it in my mind, in my memory. Next we have these flex shorts in red. I honestly have to say I don't really ever wear them anymore. I used to wear them all the time when I bought them. What I don't like about them is that you cannot pull them up too high, maybe because just my legs are a little bit too big for that. I don't know. I also always saw them on social media, really like them, but I personally don't think they look that good on me. This is the exact same short just in blue and I have the matching sports bra with it because back in the day I thought this looks so cool especially from the back with that matching Gymshark detailing. I mean I still think it looks good. Next we have this long gray set which honestly I haven't worn in a very long time. I also have the matching sports bra because I thought this is the coolest set I've ever seen in my entire life and I really needed to have it. Wearing it now compared to the shorts, like the blue shorts that I just wore. I think I like it. I think I should wear it again. This is the exact same set as the gray one, just in black and the back detailing is not black but it is gray, so pretty much the opposite. It's not something that I really wear in the gym just because I don't really wear all black in the gym, like the Whitney black leggings or the Vital Seamless. I love wearing these leggings just for a walk or something, running errands or stuff like that. Oh my gosh, we made it to the last and final collection which is the Breeze Lightweight. I only have two pieces, thank God. It is similar to the Whitney collection. I think it is even a bit thinner. It's very see-through. It is not very sweat-proof, but I kind of like it again. Again, we made it to the very last piece of my collection, which is the same Breeze Lightweight leggings that I just wore, just in this very muted purple. I think it is actually very beautiful. It was one of the first things I ever got from Gymshark, but I haven't worn it since. I also have this purple bandeau sports bra. I don't think I have worn it in the video yet. It is the next day. I had to quickly walk my dog yesterday before the sun was going down and a friend was waiting for me. And after I came back, it was just way too dark to film. So I was like, Let's do this today. I was always very aware of the fact that I had an excessive activewear Gymshark collection. Yesterday I realized how extreme it actually is. A normal person doesn't need that much active wear, but a little bit of backstory maybe if you care, I don't know. So I was always studying, okay? I was always in law school and then I started working on the side and I feel like I never really treated myself to anything ever. I wasn't going on any vacations, like I really didn't ever spend any money on myself also because I never had any okay and then around the time of COVID also when I started working out I had a little bit more money from working so I splurged it on gym clothes mainly because the gym was the only place where I was leaving my house this was my only opportunity for me to wear 
cute clothes and I really became a gym addict because this was the first time in my entire life that I did something for myself like starting the gym it really brought me a lot of happiness all I wore was joggers or active wear so now I'm finding my style again and finding my life outside of the gym I have a few other Gymshark things as you can see I put this crop sweatshirt on and I have a few other like hoodies I have joggers and a few other things if you want to see all of that stuff I have a few Gymshark hauls on my channel and the last thing I want to mention is why so much Gymshark? I don't know I feel like all the athletes I ever followed were from Gymshark. Gymshark was the first brand I ever purchased active wear from. I feel like when I started buying from Gymshark which was not kind of not that long ago but still long ago like it's been five years which is crazy because I always, I always feel like I started working out like two years ago I feel like when I started purchasing from them there weren't so many active wear brands as there are now I feel like there was such an insane growth would I want to try other active wear brands obviously yes because there are so many pretty active wear brands but I always get a little bit overwhelmed because there's just so much let me know if you have any active wear brands besides from Gymshark that you like or if you have any favorite pieces from Gymshark that I maybe didn't mention or I don't let let me know your thoughts everything that you want to let me know leave me a comment I always love reading and replying to them <laughs> that was my Gymshark collection subscribe if you don't want to see more fitness content and give the video a like if you enjoyed it and other than that thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video